I understand how much this game means to the Chargers. They've dealt with all offseason of being called chokers and being called this team who always is expected to do well and never does. People don't understand greatness when they see it or greatness when it's around them. Unless you're a Charger fan. I'm talking about Justin Herbert. This is not an ordinary quarterback. You guys know I'm not a Charger fan. I'm a Colts fan. And I remember Andrew Luck being drafted at Stanford. This nerd came on the field and I was like, oh my God. Like, we're legit going to make the playoffs our first season under Andrew Luck. Like, we won two games, and now this kid named Andrew Luck is going to lead us to the playoffs and lead us to a couple of Super Bowls. Obviously, that didn't happen. He did not lead us to a couple of Super Bowls. He didn't lead us to a Super Bowl. You know, Tom Brady and poor offensive line and no weapons and no running. Like, basically everything the Chargers have, the Colts didn't. Austin Eckler, elite running back. Zion Johnson, oh, my God. You got, him. You got Herbert more help up front. Speaking of up front, Sebastian Joseph Day, Austin Johnson. Morgan Fox, the secondary, J.C. Jackson, the best safety duo in football is Nazir Adderley and Derwin James. Khalil Mack, like, take a look at this stat, bro. The most sacks in the NFL since 2016. Sixth is Joey Boza with 58. Seventh is Khalil Mack with 57 and a half. Both of them have more than Von Miller. Think about that for a second. These guys coming off of the edge. You've got fast linebackers. You've got an alpha wide receiver in Mike Williams. I completely changed my take on Mike Williams. I did say a couple of months ago that I really wasn't too fond of bringing back Mike Williams. But also, the more I think about it, and this is just from listening to podcasts and doing research. No one like changed my mind. A lot of people agreed with me. Mike Williams... If he played a different role for the Chargers, would legit be top 10 in football. He plays as a deep threat receiver while Keenan Allen and, of course, Austin Eckler, they play underneath. And it makes sense. You've got Keenan Allen playing underneath. You've got Mike Williams playing deep. But I do feel like it's time to just fully unlock Mike Williams and give him a bigger role. And if you do that, again, this is a top 10 receiver in all of football. He's an alpha level receiver. Mike Williams has all the potential in the world, and he's got great chemistry with Justin Herbert. The Chargers, they're three and a half point favorites over the Raiders in week one. I do like Raiders fans, and I do like the Raiders team. Am I picking the Raiders to be better than the Chargers? No. I have serious question marks about the Raiders, guys. Their offensive line, their defense, their secondary is extremely young. It's got talent, sure, but... I mean, Justin Herbert is going to throw all over this team in week one. Not to mention that the Chargers have legit three running backs, maybe four if you count Joshua Kelly, that I trust out there that will play a role. I mean, this Charger team is just, just it's sickening how good it is, how much depth it has. And you can say what you want about the Chargers being chokers, which just isn't true. They finally have put the talent and the pieces around Herbert. If you think Justin Herbert is going to fall short this season, you're sadly mistaken. There isn't, okay, there's one quarterback in all of football that I have more faith in than Justin Herbert. And I know you're thinking Patrick Mahomes. Okay, maybe that's true, but I, I, I just, I really don't. The Chargers have a much better defense, and they've got way more weapons than Mahomes has after losing Reek. But I was talking about Josh Allen. Like, Josh Allen's the one quarterback that I like more than Justin Herbert. But again, it's close. I drafted Josh Allen 32 in my football league last night, which was way too early. Trust me, I know. Justin Herbert went 50th. Justin Herbert's way more valuable at 50 than 32. And I, Justin Herbert is not going 52 in a, in a high, you know, higher stake league. But the point being is that it's not that close. It's not, it's, it's, it is close. It's like, it's, it's that close. Talking about is Justin Herbert the best quarterback? Is he the third or the second best? Like, you know, Mahomes. Herbert and Allen, it doesn't matter what order you... I mean, the more I think about it, Justin Herbert is competing with these top-tier quarterbacks with a pretty bad defense, a subpar offensive line. What's going to happen now that he has a good defense? He has a defense that is going to be able to get off the field and even win the Chargers some games. I mean, Mahomes should be first, I guess, because what he's done since 2018, but we'll see what Mahomes does this season, bro. He's got an elite offensive line. He, he did lose Reek. And we'll see what he's able to do. If Mahomes goes out there and throws for 40 touchdowns, 
then yeah, sure. I think you kind of have to say he's the best because he's got w- way less weapons than these other guys, but it's just kind of a wait and see approach. But I do like the Chargers roster more than anyone else's in football. I do cover the Packers. I've got 4,360 subs. Yeah, I mean, there's the thing about the Chargers compared to some of these other top teams is just that the Chargers offense alone basically got them to the playoffs. I mean, they could have just tied and made the playoffs. They had a pretty much horrible defense. They've got a lot of talent on it, but overall just with health and with not being able to stop the run, it really hurt them. And they just made moves that I love, like Zion Johnson bringing in DeAndre Carter, of course, drafting that uh, Isaiah Spiller out of Texas A&M, Sony Michelle. I mean, this, this team is just special. There's only a select handful of teams that I look at and say they're special. The Chargers are one of them. So were the Bengals. I would say the Rams are as well. But overall, the Chargers are going to do big things this season. And I've been a fan of the Chargers well before this just miraculous offseason. I made a Chargers channel you know, well before they brought in Kula Mack and JC Jackson. You know, you can go look at my videos. I remember making videos talking about, dude, we need JC Jackson. Please bring in JC Jackson. I understood that the Chargers are going to do big things. They've got Justin Herbert. They've got great fans. This is my favorite channel. It's as simple as that, guys. I make you know thousands of dollars on my other channels. I don't make much on this channel because I don't really upload. But I understand that this channel is going to do big things. And if you're here right now, this is only the start. Daily videos are on the way, man. I appreciate you guys. Pull up, baby. Pull up. Chargers are going to win this division. I'm fully bought into it. I can't wait to see week one against the Raiders. It's going to be awesome, guys. I'm out. Peace.